Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. My name is Erin Barker and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I made these 3D swaps that I brought to Stampin' Up!'s convention last week. Um, it was their 25th and I had a blast. And since, I've had a couple emails asking how it was put together. So this video will hopefully enlighten you and you can make your own. So save your quirks. Um, this one was using Raspberry Ripple cardstock for the red wine, and then I did one for white as well, and this was using Sahara Sand. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you'll need is your Big Shot die, and I used the Fun Flowers uh, Bigs L die. This is the negative image to show you what shapes you get, and for this project I used the two flowers with the scalloped edge and... Magic of Television, just ran that through, and voila. So the first thing I did was for the background, and I did this on both the white and the red, um, was stamped in the same color ink, the Raspberry Ripple, the background en Francais, which is a big background stamp, and the smaller one I left alone, did not stamp on that. But I did use Stampin' Sponges and just sponged the edge of the petals on both the large and the smaller one. And for the smaller petal, the cardstock's pretty pliable. You can spritz it with water if you if you wanted to, but all I did to add some dimension was kind of curl the petals down using my fingers. And the sponging really adds some depth and dimension as well. So now we'll go ahead and set those aside. Okay, so obviously you need your cork. Um, you can use traditional cork or you can use these resin corks. They both cut beautifully. You'll need to cut down about a half an inch just so it's not as long. Um, and I mean, check out this one. I mean, you can change up the colors, do whatever you want with your flowers, but this little cheetah print cork was, was pretty neat, was pretty fun. Um, so anyway, you'll also need some floral wire. Uh, I found this at our local craft shop. Um, it is 22 gauge wire, uh, dark brown, um, and it's about 17 inches or so, but you'll need two of them, and you'll start by centering the wire on the cork and bending it up on either side, and basically you're just going to wrap your cork almost like you're tying a bow or um, tying up, uh, wrapping up a present. Does that make sense? And there's really no method to my madness here. I'm just winging it and hopefully the camera's picking, picking it up. This one will have come up there. And where you have your color, that's going to be your top. So when they meet again, and this one I've got about three stripes on each side, um, and I noticed that for the white, I only wrapped it twice, so it's really to each his own. As long as it's on there secured, that's all you'll need. Um, they started looking like little aliens or, you know, old school television antenna. Um, but once you've got it finished on the top, you're just going to twist it around a couple of times. And I forgot my dowel. I need to grab a dowel to make the little curly cues. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my dowel um, and I want to make sure that you can see that all I did was just with the extra pieces, wrapped it around. And I'm just going to bend this down on the top of the cork and snip it where you like. Um, I'll probably cut to about here. Excuse me. Grab the scissors and close your eyes when you're cutting. They'll go flying. And see, I've got some lovely ink in my hands. Yep. Alrighty. Alrighty. So we've got our cork, and I'm using our, our paper piercing tool. Um, it came in handy whether or not you're using the resin or the cork. Because the 22 gauge wire is 
pretty flimsy. Um, all I did was kind of make, and this one actually you can see probably from the wine bottle opener, there's a pretty good chunk out of there. But force that in, wiggle it around a little bit, and hopefully you'll be able to find the same hole when you're sticking the wire in there. There we go. Okay. And to secure that, I've got my mat here and the two flower petals. I'm just going to make a hole in both of those in the center. And the smaller one is going to go first. So we're going to fade that into the hole. And I just plugged in the glue gun. I'm not sure if it's heated yet, but what you're going to do is add some glue there. Let's see. Nope, not yet. So I'll be back in just a sec. Alrighty, so the glue gun's all warmed up. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of glue at the bottom underneath the cork. And when that's done, smush the flower petal up and kind of give it a good a good squeeze. And that's why it's important, and mine's a little, a little wonky, a little off, but that's why it's important to have the bottom of the cork as flat as you can. So we'll just add some glue. And I've got a low temperature heat heat gun or glue gun, which now needs a new stick. Of course it does. But with the low temperature, I found that I burnt myself much less. All your little strings you can pull away. With the larger petal underneath, I'm going to do the same thing. First, Add a new stick of glue. Okay. And I'm going to get this threaded first. And just around the bottom. And since there are words on there, I'm just aligning it to where it's a little off center. But I like the way that it looks. I'm just going to give that a, a firm press. Get rid of my little strings. And then it's done. Um, on the one that I brought to convention, I added a little tag that says create. Um, because us demonstrators and customers alike, we're all very creative. But here's a cool little tip on um, the ribbon that I added. And that's to represent the, the leaves. But take your, just use the same dowel and little mini clothespins, um, but basically you're just going to secure your ribbon around the dowel, spiral it, and bake it. Um, there are a couple different sites that I read online. Um, I did not spritz my dowel with water or soak it or anything. All I did was left it as is on the cookie sheet in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. Um, and then as soon as it was cool, you just cut the desired length of ribbon that you need. Um, so this is some retired grow grain that I'm going to use up. Shh, don't tap. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. The last thing that I did was actually just added some spritz and shimmer because everything looks better in shimmer um, by using our smooch spritz. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.